Hello, it's Mio and welcome to this little paint with me video where I'll be painting some ducks. Before I started recording, I had already painted the canvas pink to have a little underlayer and I had also made a quick sketch of what I wanted to paint. I haven't painted with acrylics for quite a while now, but I do have a bunch of uh, canvases that I want to use up. And I also don't think I really painted any animals before, so I want to get into that and get better at that. So the idea behind this painting is that I wanted to make two ducks, and then one of the duck is supposed to be a little wizard. I also wanted bright, happy colors. I wanted the duck to be a little bit of this blue color that you can see me painting right here. And then I also wanted some of that pink to shine through. I wanted pink highlights, and I wanted some blue or purple shadows. So I started with this light blue color and painted most of the duck, but I left some of the places where I want the shadows to be uh, still pink. And then here you can see me already starting with some of the shadows on the neck before adding some more shadows on the sides of the duck. But it's a little bit of a back and forth here. I don't really have a thought out process or anything. I'm kind of just doing what feels right and shading where I think it fits and kind of just letting the painting take me on a journey and see where it goes. Most of my acrylic paintings that I've made prior to this one have been of humans or flowers and when I paint these I always focus on these very smooth rendered look that does look, look good but it doesn't really look like it's painted with acrylics. So in this painting I want to kind of focus more on texture and I want it to look like it is painted and not like it is something perfect or super smooth. So here I'm trying to go away from the perfectionism and get into something that is a little bit more rough around the edges. And as you can see my process is relatively messy. I have painted a little bit off the duck before I just decided to go in with the background to kind of carve out the shapes a little bit more uh, of the ducks. The sketch for the second duck that I am painting around right now is not all that well made or completed even. And that is because I couldn't erase anymore without it looking very messy. So I just decided to kind of figure it out as I went. The background color looks almost black in some places, but it is actually a little bit more blue-ish. And you can see that more on the painting palette than on the actual painting. I think it's something about the uh, saturation of the pink color that makes the camera kind of interpret the background color a little bit differently and a little bit wrongly. The second duck was relatively easy to paint. I started with the same nice lightly blue color for the lighter parts of the ducks before I went with a darker purple and here I actually tried to make a little bit more light and shadow on this duck than I did with the previous one and I also decided to add a little bit more of that lighter color on the previous duck with a little bit of texture as well to get that feathery texture in there. Here you can also see me shading the right side of the left duck which doesn't really make much sense since the light is coming from the right and the ducks have a little bit of a gap between them so the shadow would not be there and I do fix that later on in the painting. I felt like the ducks were a little bit too flat, so I tried to deepen some of the purple colors here and there to make it a little bit more dramatic and give the ducks a little bit more dimension. I also shade the face a little bit with some shadows. And then here I start on the beaks. So the beaks were the first part of the painting that actually required a little bit more detail and a little bit more finesse, since the bodies of the ducks were just kind of quickly made with a little bit of shadows. Um, and quick texture. While I want the beak to be a little bit fancier and with more finer lines, more blended, just to give it more of that smooth effect. 
So I started with a orange base and then I used yellow as my highlight color and while the beak is still wet I blend that in there nicely uh, and also add some white for the strongest highlights and then some brownish red for the shadows of the beak. After painting one of the beaks, I realized that I didn't like that the body uh, only had a white, blue and purple color in there, so I decided to add a little bit of that yellow and orange on the body as well, which I do like, but over here I add a little bit too much uh, in the neck area. So I do add some water on there and then I use some paper to pick up some of that pigment so it doesn't look too extreme. I feel like that helped adding a little bit more dimension to the ducks. I also decided to add a pinkish highlight to the ducks and the light is of course coming from the right so I add that on the right sides of the ducks. Here it is time for the other beak. I do not use as much time on this beak as I did to the, with the other one. The other one I had to use a bunch of references for and such because it is at a little bit of a different angle while this beak is just to the side. So not as much shading was needed. And I also felt like I kind of got the hang of it with the other one. So this one was a lot more smooth sailing. After I finished up the beak and added a final highlight to make it look shiny, I went with the same little light pink color for the highlights of the second deck. I also tried some white highlights as well, although I did not feel like that fitted the aesthetic well enough, so I tried to go over that with the nice pink color uh, right here. Then I also added a little bit of highlight on the face before I moved on to that yellow color that I added uh, on top of the other duck. So I went with that as well on this one uh, and quite liked it. I think it added uh, some good dimension. And I also added it on the neck, a little bit on the lower body. And then here I add a little bit more highlight before going on or going over to the next step, which are the feet. So in my opinion, the feet are the least important part of this painting. So I kind of painted them pretty roughly and I didn't add too many details. I started with some of that orangey color and then I went over it with yellow and I just kind of go back and forth uh, until I have something that looks relatively okay. At this point of the painting it was getting dark out so here I have put a lamp on uh, and that lamp does create kind of extreme shadows when I am painting or like picking paint from the color palette which is a little bit annoying but once I start an acrylic painting I don't want to stop until I'm finished so I just kept on painting at this point it was about 11 or 12 uh, o'clock but I was having such a good time with this painting, so I just could not stop. Uh, and here I am making the next part of the painting, which is this little bag that the wizard is carrying around his stomach. Who knows what little magic or mystery he carries around in there, 
or how he can get the stuff out of his back without hands. It's all a mystery, but I thought it would look cute, so I just added in. The idea was that the duck on the left was maybe supposed to be an apprentice or something and would be holding a little uh, like a magical stick or what it's whatever it's called a wand uh, but I decided that it didn't look all that good and it would kind of always overlap with their beaks and it just wouldn't look good so I decided to scrap that idea and then here I'm working on some little shines in the background which I want to use uh, to make little shiny stars in the sky and then here I'm adding in the eyes of the ducks which is a very important part and I think it makes the ducks look a lot more alive I mean they do need eyes they got kind of a almond shaped eyes with a little bit of an eyeliner and then I added some more highlights on their faces which I really think did a lot to the painting so I'm really happy that I did that it adds a lot more dimension in the face and makes them look a little bit more chubby cheeked, which I love. But where there is highlight, I of course have to add a little bit more shadow. So I did add a little bit of a shadow close to the beaks on both the ducks. So it looks more like the beak is kind of sticking out uh, from their face. Or I hoped it would give it that effect, but I don't know if it really worked. And yeah, the hat of course also needs a little bit of a shadow underneath. And then there's time for the eye shine, which I also really love, brings the ducks to life. And I also try to smooth out the little eye shine uh, on the bottom part of the eye to make it a little bit more lifelike. Here I'm adding even more uh, shine to the sky and I will be adding some pretty looking stars in there as well later on but first I wanted to add these tiny little stars and also this little a little bit longer star that has like a shine around it I really like this one uh, especially when I did the thing that I'm doing right here where I tried to blend out the edges a little bit so they're a bit more transparent when they go out into the sky I had almost forgot about the little wizard hat, which is not a very good thing when you are a wizard duck. So I decided to paint that in this purple color. At this point, the purple was looking way too much like the skin tone or the feather tone, I guess, of the duck. So I opted for a bit more pink into the purple, as you can see right here. It's a little bit better, but it's still not perfect. I could have fixed it even more. Of course, the highlights are coming from the right side of the painting, so the edge of the hat has to be a little bit lighter. And I do fix that on the other side of the hat as well, a little bit later on in the painting. Here, I first add in a little bit of the wrinkles and shadows with this tad darker purple color. And here is a way too strong highlight, which I will fix later, don't worry about it. Here you can see me adding a little bit of a highlight to the left side of the hat as well. And the reason for that is that I feel like the stars, either the stars or the white uh, duck next to this one would reflect a little bit of a light back towards the uh, wizard duck. Then I also added a few tiny little stars on the hat and a little bit of a moon to make it look a little bit more magical and make it look like an actual wizard's hat. Without these details, I feel like it doesn't really fit the theme. Here it is time for the final little detail, which is the little stars in the sky. And these stars are supposed to be a little bit more cartoony than normal stars would be. So it's not just gonna be dots in the sky, it's gonna be star-shaped uh, objects. <laughs> Uh, that are very shiny because I wanted to add a little bit more of that fantastical uh, effect into the painting 
This painting took me about an hour to make and it is recorded in double speed for this video so it wouldn't be too long and of course I chopped out some parts like me painting the uh, background color and the feet of one of the ducks because I thought these bits were just a little bit too boring to show in this video. But here I'm just adding the final touches and here is the final painting. I'm actually really happy with it and I really want to make more animal paintings now so I might just try to do that with all the other canvases I have laying around. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you liked it and I will see you again next week, goodbye!